action now as the TT Pro League title race heats up at the top of the standings. The other teams are jockeying for points and position. Club Sando stole an invaluable three points from police when they clashed in Arima on Sunday. Akeem Roach was introduced to the national audience under Tom St. Feet recently and he was the man doing the business again for Club Sando in that match, hoping to be at the forefront of Dennis Lawrence's mind for selection in the very near future. Here's Ruskin Mark with the highlights. This one heated up early as Jamil Perry was on spot to slam home the loose ball which Sando failed to clear and the low man went to front after just 16 minutes. But Club Sando would respond and after some fine approach work down the left, Akeem Roach got lucky when his shot was partially blocked by Fonset in goal for police but the ball still crossed the line despite the best efforts of the defense. The lawman came close to regaining the lead, but Kareem Perry's powerful blast somehow missed everything. But the lawman didn't have to wait long for their APB to pay off, as GB McDavid's attempted cross sailed on goalkeeper Stefan Barkley and nestled in the back of the net. I hate when that happens. For 2-1 to one to the lawman, leaving McDavid to celebrate, while Barkley was left with egg on his face. But Roach had his back and beat the offside trap, rounded the keeper to slot into an open net for two apiece in the 31st, taking his tally to 10 goals so far, the most in the Pro League now. Richard Hood's outfit could count themselves a bit unlucky here, as this cracker from distance by substitute Cordell Braffitt cannoned off Barkley's crossbar in the 42nd minute to leave it two apiece at the interval. But Club Sando turned up the heat on the lawman in the second half after Allen bumped over Karen Cornwall in the area and the ref bought the act. Kimmel Rivers converted the spot kick for a 3-2 Sando lead in the 61st. Then four minutes later, Roach's low cross across the face of goal found Kevin Piper who couldn't miss from there and Sando had a two-goal cushion. They would eventually walk off 4-2 winners and climb to fifth on the table on 21 points with two matches left. Ruskin Mark, C-Sports.